Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. In today's video we're taking a look at a very unique character. Uh, this is the EX01 Nicey or Nicey or Nice or Nice from Big Firebird Toys. Uh, this was originally coming with an RC head and caused quite a kerfuffle over on social media. It is basically kind of a sexualized fembot but this isn't really anything new. If you follow the Japanese toy lines or the Japanese anime, this is very kind of common. It's just kind of new to the Western world. Uh, the box is uh, pretty much as we see, it's a nice white box uh, with um, the Fembot's chest on the side. And on the back, we've got her in her various different poses and uh, wanting that our choking hazards. And this is designed for ages 14 plus. And here we have her out of her plastic prison. Now she's good, she's a nice figure, but she is definitely not without her flaws. She feels a little bit more flimsy than what I would have liked, especially for kind of that price bracket. She's kind of a mix between the Zeta stroke Toy World RC and a slightly more fragile plastic around those surrounding sections. You can't really get her into the most dynamic of poses. I wanted her to really have that bow drawn backwards, but you can't really do that with the shoulder. You have to kind of manipulate the joint slightly. And this is probably the most natural I could get that bow look to her. It really reminds me of the pink Power Ranger as well from Mighty Morphin, her with her bow or maybe the ranger slayer as the more kind of recent interpretation of her now but i mean all things considered considering she has a very kind of narrow foot base she's still really quite a well balanced figure you just have to maneuver everything accordingly to get it to work as you want now as standard she does come with this bow piece attached to the top of her shoulder it just literally tabs in on that neck panel piece to the base piece here. And even though it's not the nicest of fits, I mean, that bow is still holding in her hand there. Uh, these are ball mounted, so we can kind of adjust those to make it look a little bit more natural. But I like it. Uh, she does come with a plethora of accessories. Starting off, uh, we have her shield, uh, which we can tell doubles up as part of her vehicle mode, we get an alternative kind of surprised or talking head sculpt there. Okay, I love the paint applications on this though. That pearlescent white is really nice, as well as that really vibrant metallic pink. How we get an extra set of uh, chests. These ones are foam, uh, kind of squidgy. Uh, each to their own. We also get a selection of hands. I've got her gripping hand and a trigger finger hand holding the gun and sword. And then we get an open palm. This is what she comes with as standard. We kind of get a drawing back hand there. Get another trigger finger hand. And we get two clenched fists as well, all done in this same style, all done with a kind of uh, robust plastic and the ball socket is nice and hard as well so we just switch those out by mounting those in the wrists. The sword is nice albeit a slightly looser fit than I'd like but yeah it's uh, nicely in there. The hilt is very very slight as well so please be careful with that. I can see if anything's going to get broken I could see it being the hilt of that sword and look at the gun. The gun is fabulous. This pink section detaches, which allows us to slide the gun in and then reseal that on. Uh, that is a really, really nice gun. Really does suit the mold nicely. See what I mean about the uh, sword? It's looser than I would like. Definitely uh, one of the biggest Floors for that. A lot of character captured there. Now, I know this figure gets uh, a lot of mixed reactions, but I'm sorry. This is fantastically balanced. Uh, she has two tiny 
little points of contact on her feet there. And yet I've got her in kind of a running pose. Uh, the joints are nice and tight and it really does hold together. Now, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't want to uh, put her near the edge of a shelf. <laughs> and if I knock this, she will topple. But the fact that she's just balanced on her toe and her heel says wonders for the joints. Now due to the transformation on these hips, uh, we do really get a nice amount of range uh, and get her in some really kind of dynamic shooting. I uh, really love how that goes. Uh, but of course, uh, we can't ignore the fact that uh, we have to kind of put all of this piece back on her. This is an adapter that comes in the box, just to uh, unpegs. And this is designed to slide deeper into the back panel there. So it sits more comfortably over the shoulders. We can actually untab these sections as well. And we can have a kind of full samurai-esque look and have them sit down by the sides, almost like the sheaths as well. But obviously the more we take parts off, the more we have to put those parts back on again. For her transformation, uh, we can use this piece here as a handle for the shield. It can just tab into the fists and she can hold it. Or we do have this section here where I can tab in on the arm as well. Again, look at the sheen on this. So uh, this actually twists and comes unlocked. So we could use that as a claw, I guess, as well. So the options are there, there's lots of different uh, variations with this figure. I think that's the kind of biggest selling point is that no two figures have to look the same, but uh, definitely a huge fan of that paint applications. Don't necessarily think we need the likes of the extra breasts, the extra head sculpt. I don't like that face on there. A real shame we didn't get the RC head sculpt. I know there's a lot of cancellations of this when we realized we weren't gonna get the RC head sculpt. I guess uh, Hasbro are finally cracking down on some of their IPs. Oh, she is a good looking bot, isn't she? Love the detail on her. It's a really gorgeous face sculpt, even if it isn't really RC. She looks the part. The head can look up and down. We can go left and we can go right. Uh, there's actually a separate hinge on the neck as well. So it's really, Nice articulation, it'll be a little bit squeaky. We've got shoulders up and down, rotation on there. We have no butterfly joints. That's literally what it's lacking, unfortunately. That would really help with the bow. Uh, mushroom peg there, we've got a joint on the elbow, rotation on those wrists. Coming to the upper torso, we do have a wiggle, 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 yeah. Uh, we also have some rotation in there. The crunch is adequate, I think. Uh, the legs can slide in and out of that thigh joint. There's a rotation in there as well. It can come all the way forwards, all the way backwards, out to the side again. You can rock it on that thigh joint to get a better range and then just slide that joint back inwards. Uh, we have a double joint on those knees. Uh, just be careful with this joint. Uh, it does strike me as being uh, fragile which it really shouldn't be because there's a lot of die cast and pistons going on in there but it does still strike me as kind of a very stiff joint i'm just a bit wary that's all and then the ankles can go up and down and they do rotate as well and although the heel does move independently it is still a very stiff piece uh, we do have plastic wheels on the back there and a shiny tush there we go that is nice -y. nice nice now for the transformation we are required to remove the weapons so just move that out of the hand there we go and just place that piece back on i do love these guns come around to a nice head that's going to rotate like so and as we collapse this backpack earlier on, we're going to reverse that and we're going to bring that all the way up. And you can see that her head should fit nicely. <laughs> like what I did there. 
underneath there. I believe the arms on these mushroom pegs are gonna turn around like so. They're facing the other way and rotate this arm around so it's facing the other way. Lifting this panel out of that groove. And these shoulder panels are going to rock down like so. And again on this side, rock down using both of those hinges. Make sure that the arms are rotated. So the mushroom peg is facing forwards and this section here is going to rock downwards like so and downwards. And if we look underneath, there is a small tab, circular tab there that's gonna line up with this arm. I just need to push and let's have that into position. There's a small peg tab on either side of this cockpit section that tabs in. This piece just slides under that lip, slides in on both of those tabs. And if you look, there is this small rectangular tab underneath, which you're gonna push and tab in as well, holding that entire front section together. Come around to her underside, and you want to extend that leg out, rotate that around, you wanna rotate the feet. And if you look, there are tabs either side of those arms that we've already tabbed in. And as you can see, I've just pushed these in here, make sure these don't pop out. There we go, we've got the hips like that. It's not perfect, it doesn't tap into these sections as nicely as I'd like, but it's in nonetheless. Our pistol can be stored just underneath that hood shield. And then coming around to the back, we have these two tabs. Those are gonna tab in, like so. Push and tab those in. And then we have these latches either side, which are then gonna push and tab in on either side. Wow. It's not perfect. I actually would recommend taking the hands off or putting the flat hands on. I think they'll definitely sit better around the breasts there. Uh, but still more finished than what we got from Toy World with their RC, where they just kind of didn't finish the back end of it. Here we go. Love that seating configuration there. For a car that's not RC but is, I think it does a pretty decent job if you can get everything kind of tabbed in where it's meant to be. we go. I mean, it's a really beautiful piece. The colors are extremely vibrant, uh, but uh, it's just that initial pegging in. I can't quite get them to go where they're meant to. It really kind of does deter from just how nice a figure it actually is. It's great to get more Fembots in my collection. I really have a minute amount. Um, yeah, looking forward to more from Big Firebird. I really am looking forward to the rest of theirs. I'm not gonna combine them up. I don't like the idea of them more kind of merging, but I do like these, uh, obviously not as official Transformers, but as kind of fodder in my Transformers collection. I think it would look really good having non-named characters and just kind of build up the Cybertronian army, I guess. Give us a better selection our figures. So there we go. That is Nicey or RC. Visible bot syndrome, plentiful there. Some possibly unnecessary parts uh, such as the squidgy breasts. I really don't get it. I really don't but each to their own. At the end of the day we do have a really nice looking Fembot. It's a unique interpretation 
based with visible similarities to RC and I really like it. Could do with being a little bit more sturdy. Plastic isn't quite up there with some of the higher end third party figures, but it's still a nice figure nonetheless. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all for watching. Uh, goodbye.